Okay, well, it's time for the first real Zelda game. Um, I've been avoiding seeing news of this other than the initial reveal. Guess straight into a cutscene, huh? The only thing I'm hoping out of this, um, because it is using Link's Awakening as a base, I would assume. I really hope that it doesn't do the same blurring. Oh. Yeah, it's doing the same blurring. Ugh. This is the one thing I wasn't a fan of with Link's Awakening. Like, I, I felt like my vision was starting to go, like, becoming an old man. <laughs> it's kind of wild that it's giving us a tutorial <laughs> for Link. I mean, maybe he has a role later on. Maybe it's not, like, completely just Zelda. But you're getting a tutorial for a character that we probably won't see much of. Oh, that's interesting. The rock's feather mechanic is kind of just built in. That's cool. What? Man. Is this the second time that a really powerful Link is just going to get shafted at the start of the game? Uh. Part of me would kind of want to see how the full game of this would play out. This is kind of playing pretty nice. And then it just connects to this game. That'd be a cool idea, like, Oracle of Seasons and Aegis sort of thing, where, like, you play as Link, and then, you know, when you rescue Zelda, Zelda has to rescue Link, or you play as Zelda, and when Zelda rescues, you know, just swapping the two, and then it becomes a greater adventure. That would have been cool. I appreciate the more acrobatic nature of this. Oh yeah, right, I have arrows as well. There's no sidestep. That did a lot of damage. Oh, the music is getting cool. So, it's you again. Ever the troublesome one. Only this time, your presence serves me. Now I'll end you both. Oh, but keep the hood, it would have been cool. Oh no, we actually have to play this out, wow. I mean, I imagine it's not going to be like how it usually is in a final fight. Wait, really? The 
this is surprising. Oh, it's got it's got the cool sort of uh, corrupted style of music that Tears of the Kingdom had. Damn it. The dark music, I guess. Got the same vibes. Oh, come on, man. You're better than this. How many times have you beaten this guy? Okay. 30 years of Zelda games. <laughs> Give or take. Maybe more. As far as me playing them. opening so far. Oh yeah, no, I am in control. Wow. I love how a tutorial for Link was given. <laughs> it's just, that, that, that moment's fast now. The Swordsman Cloak. This is the hooded cloak that the Swordsman in green dropped. It would almost completely cover your face if you wore it. So everything they showed of this was actually... Gameplay. No double jump for Zelda. I assumed it would be fine. So where exactly was he fighting, Ganon? I mean, this... The theory was that this map was the map from A Link to the Past. So I guess it's like on the southernmost shore of the game, which is interesting for that fight to happen, given it usually happens at where Hyrule Castle is. I mean, it might not be exactly the same, because Death Mountain's like to the left. Maybe it's not one for one, but it looks rather similar. Princess Zelda, you're safe. What a relief. Ah. You're not injured, are you? 
We were sick with worry. A whole week is a long time to be missing. We thought you'd been stolen away like all the others. The soldiers searched for you every day. <laughs> Princess, play with me, play with me. I'm so glad you're back, but now one of those icky rifts opened up here too. Yeah. Princess Zelda, now that we've arrived, please allow me to welcome you back as well. And I suggest you promptly speak with the king. I'm sure he'll be deeply relieved to hear that you've returned safe and sound. nice looking. One of those creepy rifts were opened up in the middle of town. It's so dark and scary looking. What if what if you fall in? I wonder what would happen. Again, that's just the blur filter, man. I, I don't know. I don't get it. Wait, can you pet the doggo? You can talk to the dog, not pet it. My goodness. Princess Zelda, you've returned to us. What a relief. We've been searching for you from sunrise to sunset every day. I'm glad you're safe. No one's asking about Link. Uh. Now that you're back, I can scratch that worry off my ever-growing worry list. Although, I'll never forgive that evil creature who took you. He's staying on my resentment list. Uh. I'm glad you're safe, except it doesn't feel so safe in general. Lately, owning... To the, oh, owing to that new rift in town. I've heard there are more monsters outside as well. I wonder when we'll see peace again. Yo. Princess Zelda, it is so good to see you safe. I'm sure everyone in the castle will be relieved too. Oh, please mind your footing near the rift. It just appeared, but it isn't growing at least. You know how it is with the rifts. When they show up, people get stolen away. Everyone in town is accounted for, but please do be mindful. I'm trying to see, like... Yeah. It looks like there's a building in there. Anyway, Princess Zelda, can you believe this? Our sweet home is... This will look. We can't get in sight. What are we going to do? We have to stay in a room in the castle since our house is unusable at the moment. I'm so excited to see which room we get. I bet it'll be luxurious. Hey, can you at least try not to sound so excited? I mean, look at our place. Oh, get out of here. I know you're excited about it, too. Well, okay. Yeah, you got me. I am. Ever since you were kidnapped a week ago, I've been incapable of getting a wink of sleep. But now that you're back, I bet I'll be sleeping like a baby tonight. Welcome back, princess. I'm taking my time with this. Yeah. There's nothing to fear if you train regularly. I tell myself that, so I stay motivated. Huh. Eh, Princess Zelda. Me? Slack off? Never. I'm just hanging out my favorite break area. When I heard you were back, my sigh of relief could have knocked down a house. I'm so grateful you're all alright. You should go rest up. Okay, I mean, not yet. You. Hey, Princess Zelda, welcome back. Did you see any rifts on your way back here? It was a real shock to see one crop up here in town. I'm glad nobody got pulled into it. I'm just kind of checking out the buildings and just seeing... If Maybe there's anything I need to make note of. Butter? I guess there's cooking. Hey. Feel free to look around. Hang on. Princess, is that you? Wow. What a princess. You got out of a serious situation like it was nothing.
That monster who kidnapped you has got some nerve. I've made it my mission to take him down myself. I need to get training immediately. Mind and body. I'll start with two whole sit-ups. We're all so happy to have you back, Princess. Everyone was worried you'd been stolen away. Well, it's Princess Zelda. A long time no see you. So, where have you been? Out doing princess stuff or something? Enough. That is no way to speak to Princess Zelda. I'm sorry, Princess. You know how kids can be. Sorry for being a kid. You look exhausted. I hope you're recovering all right. Princess, please don't go. Don't ever go away again, okay? Princess, play with me, play with me. Oh, it's got the bird. I am so happy you're back. We were starting to think we'd never see you again. We searched for you every single day, Princess Zelda. I guess let's just go in now. Princess Zelda, please forgive me for not being there for you in your time of need. As your loyal servant, I should have been able to find you. I promise I'll do better in future. Well, I mean, it depends how long she was missing for. It's like every single day of how long of a time period. Wait. <laughs> That's the first... I don't, I don't think... Have NPCs ever gotten shocked at you breaking stuff as Link? I don't think they ever have. They kind of just let it happen. Ah, sweet child. Such a relief to see you safe. Welcome home, princess. I must say, your loyal Impa felt so flustered that I could not save you myself. On top of your kidnapping, rifts have been appearing all over. It's a source of much fear. I am certain your return will be great comfort to the people during these troubling times. You've always been quite spirited, though I didn't expect you to make it back on your own. Well, I'm so overcome with emotion that I've spoken out of turn. Off you go now, the king awaits you. In the meantime, I'll draw a nice hot bath for you to enjoy when you're ready. In the Wind Waker, there's one house where they find you for breaking pots. Does that count? That's the, uh, the auction house, no? I mean, that you're breaking merchandise, whereas in here, like, it's her castle. <laughs> She's the princess. If she wants to break a pot, she can. She'll just get Impa to make a new one or something. <gasps> princess, I'm so relieved you're back. Oh, Princess, what an absolute joy to see you safe and well. Despite that joy, I feel ashamed that we were unable to find you. On behalf of Minister Left and me, please accept our apologies, Princess. General right, Minister left. Ah, uh, I see. I appreciate your sentiments, but let's not dull this joyous moment with our regrets. Zelda, my dear daughter, you did well to return to us. Come closer so I may look upon you. Ah, I am so relieved you are healthy and whole and well. So, tell us, Zelda, what happened to you? A swordsman in green saved you from a fell beast, quite the tale. But after defeating the monster, the swordsman was taken by a rift. It's him we have to thank for saving your life, hmm. So he was pulled into a rift, another one stolen away. 
Indeed. I hope he is safe. Stolen away, a tidy phrase for a terrible fate. Being taken by a rift. An unsettling phenomenon. A fair Hyrule has continually been plagued with these rifts and disappearances. As you know, rifts have been appearing for a long time, claiming our young ones. Indeed, so many children have been stolen away. We've remained vigilant. Oh, so this is like a... I thought this was an end result of Ganon, but I, I guess they've <laughs> always dealt with this problem. But despite our best efforts, we've never been able to prevent the rest from appearing. Ultimately, those who've experienced losses have been left to contend with their grief. Now, I've been receiving reports about people disappearing from every corner of Hyrule. And it isn't just children anymore, adults are disappearing too. What could be causing such an uptick? For now, we should also work on finding the swordsman in the green tunic. And with haste. Your Majesty. What is it, soldier? Urgent news. The rifts, they're causing serious trouble. Oh no. Please, soldier, what are the details? Ah, of course, Your Majesty. Firstly, we received word that someone from Southern Village was swallowed up by a rift. Then we also received news of dark monsters attacking people in Hyrule Field. That is troubling news indeed. Thank you for your report, soldier. Tell the rest of your battalion to prepare for departure immediately. Yes, Your Majesty. General, Minister, Sire. Minister Left, continue your investigations into the Rift Phenomenon. I am expecting you to find a way to save any and all who have vanished into the Rifts. You can count on me, sire. General Wright, I leave the monsters to you. Prepare your troops and head into battle. On my honor, sire. This crisis must be dealt with. Continue looking into the Rifts and locate those who have been lost. What? But... <laughs> I feel like he could have got an eye of the way. I don't know. Fine. Oh. Gods! Lock her up immediately. Lock up the princess. My daughter created the rift you see behind me. We cannot leave such horrible power unchecked. Disturbing though it may be, General Wright and Minister Left bore witness as well. Well, don't just stand there. Lock her up at once. Yes, Your Majesty. Alright, so this is how she ends up in jail. Why did we lock up the princess? What could the king be thinking? <sighs> Haven't you heard? Apparently she's the one who created the rift in the throne room. <gasps> what? There's no way. So then she might also be responsible for all the other rifts? <sighs> yeah. They'll just keep popping up as long as she's around. There's even word the king plans on putting her to death to save the kingdom. Oh, man. I just can't believe the princess would be the cause of these things. It depends how long they've been around for. Like, have they been around since she was born? Maybe before? I 
It sounds like they've always been a problem. You can see me? My name's Try. That blue monster, he caught me too. I've been watching you since then. I followed you here to this castle. Oh yeah, I should ask, what's your name? Zelda, got it. Zelda, your life is in danger if you stay here. The person who put you here is the king, right? He told someone to hurry and prepare for your execution. Once I heard that, I figured I'd better tell you. The king and the other two who got pulled into that rift, the three that came out, seemed weird. Oh, you notice they seemed weird too. You think they're imposters. What an odd word. Anyway, it's too dangerous for you to stay here. I think we could save the people who've been taken into the rifts. We could reveal the truth. But none of those people will be able to get out on their own. We have to save them together, Zelda. But first, let's save you. Let's get you out of here. You can't get through the bars. Huh, that's interesting. Let me help. Oh man, that... <laughs> Look, the switch is old now, but just... I've noticed more of the switch's graphics being outdated as of late. It's a mysterious rod, the same color as Try. It's warm to the touch. I can create echoes of things in this world. I'm not sure what will be the most useful to you, but I'm sure this will come in handy. Go up to something that's shimmering and then press set R. Okay, here we go. Good job. That's how you learn things. Anything you've learned can be echoed with Y. Look at that. Perfect job. What you created is called an echo. Press that R when you're near an echo to erase it. If you want to erase all, all your echoes, hold it. Okay. Interesting. So can I just make infinite cop? No, there's got to be like a limit. <laughs> now you can escape. Let's go. I look forward to doing puzzles in the dumbest ways possible. Oh, you know, I probably shouldn't go that way. Hey, Rocky, how's it going? The classic stealth opening section. Alright. <laughs> oh, but I can... Zelda, you can see the echoes you've learned by holding down D-pad. Okay. Yeah, wow. We, we can be as stupid as we want with this. Okay, so what? There's, there's a limit of seven. It would appear. Six. My bad, six. I'm gonna keep climbing. <laughs> I 
ないか。あ、なあ、もしかしたら3、かつ、ヨーロッパの。Time to salt stink my way through it. <laughs> uh, hey, Dicto. So the other day I broke a pot to test the theory, and General Wright came running. I'm sure he gave you an earful about it. Actually, no, I threw the pot kind of far, and he ran to where he heard it break. Ha!、Huh. General Wright is a simple man. That might be where the pot breaking. Oh. Wait. Get out. I can. <laughs> oh, come on. No. No, come on. That should be allowed. I should be able to incapacitate this soldier by dropping a damn crate on his head. I get what it wants me to do, but come on. I am disappointed. This, this should be a solution. You get what you're, what you're trying to make me do. I do. But it should be. The player should be allowed to incapacitate soldiers with a crate. <laughs> Princess? I'm so glad you're safe. You're not hurt, are you? I can't even imagine what His Majesty is thinking. Claiming that you created that rift is. it's preposterous. What? The king, general, and minister are all imposters? Oh boy. And your friend Tri made you a. Tri rod, was it? I see. Zelda can make use of the rod's power. Oh, she can't see. Where might Tri be now? You're all here on your own? I think you're the only one who can see me, Zelda. Interesting, the world is truly a mysterious place. Well, come what may, I will always support you, Princess, no matter what mysteries unfold. We'd better not dally. The phony king is speaking of executing you. We need to leave, and quickly. You'll stand out in your own current attire, so I've brought something for you to change into. Oh, what? Is that blue fabric sticking out from your pocket there? I see, the cloak the swordsman was wearing. The size seems workable. It will do a fine job of shrouding you. Quickly now, before we're spotted. <laughs> it's not that much of a disguise, but sure. It's light and flow. And conceals your identity nicely. It smells like a musty dresser. Yeah. You should be able to head along now without a worry.、Oh. The princess is missing. Find her. Hmm. Hmm. Seems we have company. Leave this to me. Lady Impa, who is that over there? Isn't the princess? It, it isn't the princess, is it? If it is, you must stand aside this instant.、Oh? Stand aside, hmm? No, I don't believe I'll be doing that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Damn, Granny's got moves. Yeah, princess, take this with you.
The slug was given to you by Impa. There is a folded map inside. Yeah, Kaiman, okay, mean, the map is very different. It's not quite like how the Super Nintendo one is. So scratch that theory. This way. Ahead you'll find a shortcut that leads out of the castle. Use it to make your escape. Hurry now, princess. We'll see each other later. I mean, Impo when she was younger, she always, like, a master of combat. A decorative shrub? Oh, no, there's, there's even lore. A porter person. But, I mean, how many of these have duplicated, duplicated functionality, you know? Like, you stand on them either way. Good enough. So, unless there's a way to increase the total number you can place, right now it's only three. The, this bed is a bit worn out, but you'll still get sleepy if you lie down on it. Okay, come on, no, that's just silly. <laughs> the storage, like, come on. This this is silly. I know what it's teaching, but there's no way that in castle in the Hyrule Castle they'd be storing beds like in this manner. What's spin? Oh, okay. For lack of a sword. I guess there has to be a way to cut grass. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is... Black Link's Awakening. I am disappointed that they kept the blur filter in. That's the only thing that drove me nuts. Okay. A hard rock that's very heavy, but you can move it if you really push. I mean, I want the money. This is interesting so far. Another rift. Rifts have appeared occasionally for a very long time. Mending them was our job. Except my power alone is enough to take care of a large rift like this one. Let's get away from it from now. Oh good. I feel like I don't have a choice, all right. Uh. 
You're all right. Good. Let's go. I wonder how many different rocks there are going to be. We've got two so far. I'm curious if there's like Korok puzzles, you know? Yeah, ha, ha. Where are we? Maybe that map thingy that person gave you can help us figure it out. Southern Beach. Okay, down there. Oh, a monster. It noticed you. Zelda, can you fight monsters? Okay, now this is this is the thing. The Zol Echo. Did you learn to echo that monster? Defeating new monsters leaves a shimmer, which allows you to learn about them just like you did. I get the feeling this UI is going to get annoying. <laughs> Just the horizontal scrolling. Is this for real? <laughs> I can set an army of them against each other. I mean, I feel like I get better kills with the rocks. But still. It's amusing. Like, especially if the list is going to get into the, the tens, you know, like, say there's 50 echoes overall. Oh, for fuck's sake. There's 50 echoes overall. That horizontal scrolling is not going to... Not going to be pleasant. Fuck Melbourne and extra public holidays. Maybe New South Wales should have invented a sport. kidding. I don't care about the sports at all. So I, these things. Okay, my ones don't hurt me. That's good. Yes. This is the thing, I gotta just climb. Look around. What is it what is it trying to get me to do up here? Hang on. I don't think that's high enough. <laughs> so weird. No, no, stop doing that. Okay. Where am I going? some stairs. The only thing I wish you had more fine control over is just 
which ones are going to... I guess that one's going to disappear. Okay, I kind of see it. And then this one's going to disappear. It doesn't let me go any further. Um, hang on. Fable? Okay. <laughs> no? Ah, ha, ha, ha. There's a point to this. Okay. I feel justified. Or could I have gotten that anyway? No. Okay, good. I got a final interview tomorrow. Good luck. No, that's not what I was trying to do. Um, that's how you get rid of it. Cool. Me, okay, I mean, I don't think I have enough echoes to climb that, but I imagine eventually it's just... gonna be this thing. Hey, all right, um... I like this idea of, like, a summoner. Oh, I keep pressing the wrong button. It's been a while since I've used my Switch, so I keep pressing B. Okay. Hmm. Oh, no, I think I got it. This is definitely going to take some getting used to. The thing that's bugging me the most is, like, the analog stick on this controller keeps flicking. I got it. That should be all of them. I guess at all points I should have the one that I'm going to use as a, a weapon. Cut all the grass always. Okay, so now that I guess we're out of it, I'll say um, that was about 40 minutes of tutorial, which <laughs> I get it. It's like a new concept and younger kids, but I'll also point out that, man, I was a kid once and I did not need explanations for Zelda games. Though admittedly, this stuff has some complicated functions. I think that being explained is fine. It's more the other stuff. Welcome to Southern Village. It's usually nice and quiet here, but now things are terrible. If only Link were here. Who's Link? Link is a young fellow from this village. He's better with a sword than anyone. He helps us 
with lots of problems, monsters, weeds, you name it. But he's gone off on a journey, right when we need him. I'm curious, Link wears a cloak like yours. Ah, oh, Link, I hope you're alright. Okay. A rift appeared north of here and it grew so fast that one of us got caught inside. What's worse, we can't even run to Hyrule Castle for help. The rift is blocking the way there. Guess I'm gonna check these houses and see if there's any new things. Wait, meat? <laughs> I can learn meat. Get out. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure this is gonna be used to distract monsters or someone, but. I now have a meat stick. Trampoline. Okay. I got a trampoline. What a great gift. You can play with it too. A roof swallowed up one of my neighbors. There must be something we can do besides pacing. The rift nearby is huge, and it's terrifying being so close to our village. It could be in Southern Forest too. A strange old man lives there. I hope he's okay. Can't I just clone the heart container? <laughs> like, it's this rod with the ability to make echoes of things, but not everything. How much is the heart piece, anyway? Yeah. Oh. Okay, you're gonna hate me for this, but, like... It wouldn't be... I guess a game set in the world of Link's Awakening, or at least the engine of it. If you didn't spend a little bit of time cutting grass to get money to buy the item at the start. It's not that much money. Find a couple of fivers. It's fine. Oh, hang on, there's a chest here. Hold on. Not meat. <laughs> Bed. Bed. I'm still getting used to this. Dude, this analog stick is driving me nuts. I really hope it's not the case that I got another busted pro controller. Wait. There we go. Oh, there you go. Done. I got enough. Just reminds me of Tim Allen grunts. Yep. All right, let's go. Where are we going now? What? A simple side man out of wood. I wonder what how this is going to come in handy. This away, that away. What? Sometimes a good lie down in bed is all you need to feel better. You could probably use this as a shield, but only once. Warning, this sign is made out of wood, which is flammable. Okay, this is funny. Is this a new game? Yeah, this came out uh, today. Sometimes a good lie down is... Okay.
I want to read all the messages. I guess that's it. There's not that many. Hey, shout if you can hear me. Uh, who are you? No, no, it doesn't matter. Can you please, please help us? Uh, hey, that cloak looks a lot like Lynx. Uh, those cloaks trendy right now or something? Ah, what am I doing? This is no time for idle banter. My wife got swallowed up by the rift. Wife, can you hear me? I'm right here. this. Hey Zelda, have a look at this. This waypoint has been recorded. Now walk here. Okay. Alright, it lit up. These are waypoints. We use these a lot. Rifts can appear all over the place, so we use these to travel quickly around the world. Once you interact with one, you can travel to it anytime. I'm sure they'll be helpful. Waypoints can be found in lots of different places. If you spot any, make sure to check them out. Yeah, I guess this is the first Zelda Zelda game, so... Finally, after all these years... <laughs> Boomer parents are rejoicing, because now, when they ask you... ...about the character Zelda, they are correct. <laughs> I'm sensing lots of creatures in this area. I think the place marked with whatever is up ahead. Ah, uh, man. I'm having fun, but, you know. Tutorial. <laughs> Wait, I taught you everything you know about Zelda? How'd I do that? Electro apples? Interesting. Yeah, I mean, I, there, there are people that say, you know... These games are intended for a younger audience, but my counter to that is I was... I was young once, and I, I didn't need that. Granted, I will I will concede, there are a couple of circumstances where, yes, a tutorial would have been nice, but as a kid, I figured it out, you know? Eventually, you play something enough, they figured it out. And also, if you start playing games as young as I did, and, you know, your reading isn't exactly the greatest either, eventually it, it catches up, and you can kind of appreciate it, but, like, when I started playing Zelda games, I couldn't read. It's probably, like, four or five. Yeah, I mean, these games are fun. And I couldn't read English. Oh, yeah. No, there was that, too. <laughs> even, even if I could read. <laughs> no, I would have been able to read English. I would have learned how to read English first. I did learn basic Spanish reading, but... I think that came a little later. What are you? Oh, enemy. Bats! Get them! Oh, bats don't work. Okay. See ya, Chun. Oh no, this, this thing is like, destroying. But I say Spanish is my first language. Spanish was the first language I'd learnt, but now it's, you know... 
I don't use it as often as I should. I'd say now it's kind of gotten to a point where... I mean, I don't sound like an English person trying to read Spanish or write Spanish or talk. At the very least, like, I still sound like I speak it, but I, I guess my vocabulary just isn't as good as it could be. And that's purely because I just, I only speak it when I'm with my parents or, like, older relatives. But yeah, for sure, like, I had to take classes to fix um, my speech, because I used to talk super fast. And was enunciating things in a strange... Well, not strange, just... Obviously how you would in Spanish. So, because I was younger, um... Was able to correct that. Whereas in some of my older cousins, they retained the accent and everything. I'm kind of right about this. This is already... You can... I know you can sort it. But this is one of the problems I had with Tears of the Kingdom is like this UI becomes very cumbersome the more items you get. Um... I don't know. I feel like a grid would have worked better, but that's just my humble opinion. Oh, it's a snake. Wait, I want snake. The rope echo. Oh, right, the snakes are called. I forgot that they're called ropes. Wait, <laughs> can the light stop on fire? I mean, it's roughly been 50... No, it's been like about an hour now, give will take. And the first 40 minutes of this was definitely heavy tutorial. Oh no, I've made things worse for myself with this. Is this going to have like Pokemon mechanics where things are going to be super effective and other things are not going to be very effective. You have to pick counters. Yeah, I mean, the start of it was pretty much what the trailer... The, if you want to see what it was, it's basically what the trailer was um, when they revealed this game. The reveal trailer. Except I played it out, so it's... You play as Link, you rescue Zelda. Um, uh, you beat Ganon. Ganon opens up a rift, Link falls into it, shoots an arrow, frees Zelda, and then... Yeah, I guess you're trying to figure this shit out. Oh, okay. Tomorrow is the holiday. Yes, it is the grand final eve. Oh, come on. Okay, snakes don't... Snakes sort of work against this. No, I think what'll work better. Oh, you wanna, you wanna roll? Go on. That doesn't make sense. If it rolls into spikes, it should hurt itself, unless it's armored. Right, what about you? 
Rock. We throw a rock. There we go. Caro Madillo. I mean, Zelda has no real combat abilities of her own. She's basically a summoner. That's her class. No physical damage allowed directly from her. That didn't work. No, I, uh, it seems to be doing something. Okay, it's just gonna take a long time. I feel like there may have been a fast way to do this, but you know what? I'm good. Okay, I'm fine. So wait, that's four now, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm curious how a boss fight is going to roll with this. Like, this is all well and good now, but I wonder how it's going to feel when I fight something for the first time. I'm not going to 100% hearts again. I, I feel like I always have to. That's just an inner child thing. Part of that comes from... The fact that Zelda 1... I didn't finish until I was a teenager, because I couldn't find one castle, so... It was like, I found everything, and it was basically... Like, what, two heart containers missing, or something along those lines? And I don't know, the feeling just of just actually getting those <laughs> heart containers and finishing the game and... All that, finally. Every time I get all the hearts, it just... I feel like I'm making up for just... A time when I couldn't figure that shit out. I figured it out in such a dumb way as well, like... By complete accident, of all things. Apparently I can only have one pig at a time. Is he gonna attack? I oh, know he is, he is. When was the last time I saw Gammy on? Uh, uh, I'm, I don't know. Recently? If you mean within the next last month, yeah, probably. I'm sorry, it's just like, it, it's hard, because the days blend in with one another, but then also it's just... Um, unless, unless the person chats a lot, like, I'm gonna forget. <laughs> That's basically it. Or have a conversation that, like, is something that I remember. Like, oh yeah, we talked about this. In the last week, uh, mm, like, 50-50, maybe. Oh, wait. In the last week, yes, because I remember I was playing UFO 50, and it was like a tower defense game, and they said it was pretty cool looking. That's, I remember that. Okay. I mean, this is just... Why am I doing this? <laughs> I guess this is just me... ...feeling out combat here, you know? Ow. Oh.
I mean, it's still early on, so we'll see. But I'm all for, like... Because I guess part of this will remind me of the stupid rules I used to make up for Zelda. To make it hot. I mean, the original Legend of Zelda to make it harder. Like, try to go without a sword. So I'm all for resorting to non-sword tactics. I'll, I'll feel a little nostalgic for that stuff. Have I ever played Undertale? I have not. Um, I I know it's a game that's up my alley. I feel like I'd enjoy it a lot. But it's unfortunately one of those games if you stream it. I've seen people stream that game and get frustrated because um, people get really backseaty with it. Like, unless you're playing it a specific way... Um, People will get annoyed at you, despite, um, you know, not having played the game and are trying to get a blind experience. They kind of lead you down this path, basically. Or they'll be like, wait, go back, you missed this. And it's just... It's, it's unfortunate, but it's just how it is. Um... I could play it myself off stream, but I just haven't made the time. I think it's one of these things <laughs> I me to do that. Um, yeah, I'll probably have to play it off stream. Or, uh, maybe, like, just have someone lay down the hammer. Wait, I can learn torches? It'd be one of those things that someone would have to be policing chat, and I know that's not the most enjoyable ask of, of someone, so... Maybe one day. Sub only chat. Yeah, I don't want to do that. I understand what that would achieve, but then at the same time... It's just... I don't know. I feel a little greasy doing that. So this is this is going to be my life <laughs> initially is just ah ooh ooh this thing hurts it's going to be throwing rocks please die No, I don't care. I want the challenge. This is, I'm okay with this. Okay, I need to wait for it to stop. There's no combat roll. pressing the wrong button. Yeah. This is gonna be useful, though. Like, this thing actually seems like it deals damage, so... That's going to be my combat now. Now I need health. 
Oh. Huh. Oh, you can dive. Okay, hang on. I can Zala jump. Yeah. I've got to climb those beds somehow. Wait. Oh. Okay, that's how you... I was wondering why I haven't seen hearts. Maybe... That's why I haven't seen hearts. Yeah, I was gonna try and trampoline up by jumping. I'm sure there's a quicker way to do this, but that might be why I haven't seen hearts yet. Did I even read the signs? No. <laughs> Please. Are you gonna ask me if I read the manual as well? Like the millennial I am, I did not read instructions and then complain when yep. the thing that I was looking for was obviously missing. Yep. Yeah, I, I can see this is going to get very interesting just with the combinations and how to solve things. I mean, all I'm seeing... Hang on. We can warp at any time, but... Oh, there we go. Zoom. Right, it wants me to head there. Oh, you can put flags as well. That's cool. Okay, I need to remember that feature, because if there's something I can't do... We got pins. I just didn't approach this because it's a void... Was this where we were supposed to go? It looks like the rift is blocking the door. Zelda, my role is to mend rifts. I have lots of friends who do the same. We all work together fixing up rifts. Normally, my friends fix them quickly, so... It's weird that this is still here. I wonder if something happened to them. Zelda, will you investigate with me? I'm guessing my friends are in the rift, and if we find them, we can mend this rift easily. It's still tutorial time. <laughs> Lead, head, let's head this way. We'll find an entry point. You mean where I just was? Where I just was? I have to go to where my natural sense of exploration took me? You mean there? Where's map? Sorry, I know I'm being a shit, like, complaining about this, but... I'll stand by the fact that it doesn't need to be this handholdy. That kids can figure it out. I did one once upon a time. Hey, Hal on YouTube. Thank you for, uh, tuning in. Appreciate it. You know what? I got a way to know this, because my niece really wants to play this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask my brother how she does, if she figures this out. Because I don't think she reads this. She can read, obviously, but like, I don't think she reads tutorials much. She figures that out herself. But they can't move. It seems like they're trapped. If that's the case, they won't be able to mend the rift at all. I think we'll have to go in there and help, then we'll deal with this rift properly. We can save them if we work together. Origami King pissed you off with the long tutorial. Oh yeah, no, that one was... Truly horrible. I, I called it the Tutorial King for like the first two hours of that game. Yeah. 
The only other game that's come close to that is Pokemon Sword and Shield. My god. <laughs> like that. Every time Hop appeared on the screen, dude. I, I felt my heart sink like, oh my god. How long is he going to talk for this time? Alright, we can get in there now. Let's go save my friends. Alright. Hey, Colorin. What's funny, I don't know how true this is, but I've been playing the Plucky Squire, and from what I've heard, I don't know if it was an artist or someone, but they worked on Pokemon Sword and Shield, and that Plucky Squire has quite a bit of tutorials as well. And it, it just doesn't surprise me. <laughs> just, I don't know. This is the still world. Everything you see floating around here was sucked in through a rift. Anything that ends up here will begin to break apart and eventually vanish completely. Me and my friends have the ability to restore things that have ended up in rifts, though. Speaking of, I sense my friends deeper in here. Let's go, Zola. I wish I had Link's double jump. Oh, okay. Uh... Oh no, I'm glad I fought this thing. Hey! <laughs> Defend me! <laughs> oh no, this thing is legit. This is basically my sword now. Oh, what? Uh... The music is good. It's kind of taking... Uh, like that vibe that Tears of the Kingdom had with the creepy aura the music had. When people get pulled into rifts, they kind of petrify and can't move. And if they stay that way, they'll eventually fade away. But that won't help to you, Zelda. You're special. Alright. Get him! <laughs> I know that this thing is... is going to carry me for a while. Gonna try and sleep? What time is it? Oh. If you didn't sleep much, fair enough. I was like, it's not that late, is it? Oh, I, okay. Never mind. I thought... It was a pressure pad and I needed to place a rock on it. Never mind. Can I at least summon... Oh, that's... that's disappointing. I, I was hoping that I could summon objects. Um... So like, you know, there's uh, there's obviously objects that deal at damage and objects that don't. I was kind of hoping that it was a system like that, like utility objects, you know? That they're fine to use whenever, but as far as combat, it's there's like a summoning cost. Like this is worth three summon. I mean, I, I guess it is just, I can't summon anything else without destroying it. I love this thing. <laughs> it was worth the hassle. take a beating and it does a lot of damage it's great this is really cool 
gone. <laughs> but I don't know, man. I'd argue that this is going to be more fun than just swords. so dark. Hey, I remember this one from the castle. I can restore her back to normal if we mend this rift. Uh, I want to see what was on the right-hand side first. This seems like the main way forward. Silly. What? What are these? <laughs> okay, now it worked. It, I'm, I'm having a hard time <laughs> getting used to how to place the beds in the most optimal way to climb, but that worked, whatever. This is great so far. This is where you were trapped not too long ago. We're getting closer to my friends. They're farther in, but we're getting there. Apple. Pretty big rock, huh? You know, when I'm fixing rifts, I have to move a lot of things around. I bet the ability to do that would come in handy for you. If you guide me with the rod, I can move things for you based on your movement. Try fixing this boulder and then guide me by pressing X. Got it. Okay, hang on. Oh, X. We're bound together. Okay, try moving. Okay, so this is like uh, Magnesis. Probably not the best spot. Hang on. Uh oh. There we go. Yeah, I'm just gonna do that. You know what? That's hysterical <laughs> right now. You know, uh, if you've watched me play other games, particularly the Yakuza games, how, like, whenever the rhythm games come up, um, I get confused with the Xbox buttons. So it told me to press X right now, and I pressed, like, what X would be on an Xbox button. What is happening to me? <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I haven't gotten much use out of my Switch lately. Um, other than the Nintendo-only games. As buying stuff on the Switch now, it's not really something I do anymore. It's, yeah, I mean, the port is always just inferior. I, I can get it better. Looking better, running better. By either buying it on... PlayStation or PC. Especially PC now that I got, um, the ROG. I might just call it that. You'll know what I'm talking about. Yeah, that, that'll, that'll get that.
they complicate things by switching up the buttons. I think they just all have to be different. They can't just all get together, have a consensus, standardize the controller input. No, everyone has to have a different X. The thing that I've seen lately um, in some indie games that I think is like brilliant, a brilliant solution to it. Some Switch games do it, which I'm surprised this one hasn't. It's like the... It's the universal um, symbol. So it'll show you like four buttons and then it'll tell you which one to press without giving it a label. So it'll be like, oh, press the right button on, you know, the XYBA pad. Or press the top button on the XYBA pad. So then you don't even think about what letter you're pressing. You just know, okay, it's, I'm pressing the top button. And then that way you don't have to think about like... Um, oh, this is interesting. You don't have to think about it. It's great. What do you mean? What do you mean that did not crush the spider? Get up! <laughs> I can't believe that didn't kill the spider. What spider doesn't die to having like a large rock dropped on it? Oh, actually, it looks like it has like an armored shell. Maybe that might be why. Fine. This is cool, though. It's a neat way to... I guess that's the thing, is like, you know, Zelda games... Oh shit, this is a real one. Um... They've kind of had the same set of items for the last couple of decades. So this is a really creative way to give new items. Oh. That's what I'm trying to do. There we go. Alright. Complicated it again. was the big chamber. Yep. Hey, here, have some meat. Yep. Oh. No, I want this. Go! <laughs> Dude, <laughs> this thing's so good. But I guess I got, now I've got uh, actual knight in shining armor. It's, a, it's worth three. I'll be curious to see how much it does compared to the the other one. Oh, this is weird. I can actually move them as well. Um, sort by... By last use is probably what we want. I got the feeling like I'm going to have a staple of them that I just kind of use constantly.
I should probably dismiss that before it burns the crate. This would work, right? Hey. Okay, there's got to be an easier way to break this without... Can you break them? Nah. Oh. Or I can do that. <laughs> that works too. Thank you for your service. Looks like there was a right chamber, though. I mean, I, I get what I have to do here. I can kind of see it. There's like a shield. Huh. You know what I just realized? Well, why did I put a tree down to cross that? I could have just jumped over it. I thought I was, like, playing Captain Toad. <laughs> why there's no jumping. I thought I was being clever by putting that tree there, but it, in reality, like, why didn't I just jump? I guess just... Oh. Just trying to take it all in, just using the mechanics. The novelty of it. But what I did was really impractical, like, just a waste of time. Like, okay, maybe not. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. Wait, what is going on? The torch kind of burnt them. I was just trying. I was just trying to engage with the mechanics. So it's just like I wouldn't call it overcomplicating. What is it doing? I just want to do like. I don't know how. This is not. Okay, that's what I want. Now put one. Why is it putting it in the hole? This is driving me nuts. Look at this. Okay, whatever. That's, that's fine. Just... Uh oh. <laughs> uh, am, am I just not getting how this works? Like, why is it doing that? It play. So look at this. It places it. It places it in front of me here. But then the moment I jump on it, it decides to put it one tile down. Why? And now here it's back to being in line. Like, this is driving me nuts. Like, that's not what I want to do. Here it worked. Why does it work? This is a little clunky. I don't know how I got it to work before. Okay. <laughs> I just want to get to the shield. I guess the, there's... There's half the fun. It's like trying to get this to do what you want it to do. Ooh, that's exactly what I wanted to do. I got the feeling I'm doing something... 
All right, so this is my idea. My idea is to... That's an echo. I have to grab it. Okay. But I just... Sir, I just need one more. I don't get why it refuses to put it as a stepping stone. Like, it, it's weird. I have to figure this out. How to do the bed climb. Because I've seen it. I saw it in the trailers. Like, Zelda climb. Look. Yeah, okay. Now I'm doing it. So what's the difference between... It's, it's still... Nah, this is like... This is jank. Look at this. At the moment it's over a pit, it just refuses to work anymore. I'm not- I'm not imagining that, like, I'm not getting crazy, watch. Yeah. Okay, I'm standing. In line. It worked. It worked. Okay. I'm doing it reliably every time. Now... What is the difference between here and the... And now it doesn't work. <laughs> Just driving nuts. <laughs> okay, sorry. I, I know this This is horrible to watch. Um, What am I doing here? There has to be another way. But that is a strange inconsistency. Maybe it can't be done over an abyss, but then what's the point of it? Like, it's supposed to be a bridge. These things are supposed to act as a bridge. And it's not like... Like, it has footing. Like, really? This is where they draw the line with the physics? <laughs> look. See, look at how dumb this structure is and it works. Okay, whatever. Um. Maybe we throw it off. No. It doesn't answer to this somehow. Is there anything else with this room? Let's see. There's a corridor at the start that I haven't gone in. Oh, but this is like really far away. No, wait, this is a corridor up ahead. I'm gonna go have a look if there's another spot where there's a shield. I mean, I guess maybe it does that so you can't just... But they have a, they have a restriction on how many beds you can summon anyway. It's not like you can get far with them. The elevator's gone. Oh. <laughs> no full damage, it's fine. No shattered knees here. Yeah, but see, this just leads down. Now this is just taking me back to the... That room has to be self-contained. There has to be a way to do it. I love how we've been in a tutorial 
for basically over an hour. And now it's like, nah, radio silence. However, I have figured it out. It's fine. <laughs> I was just trying to get it the dumb way. by engaging with the build mechanic, but it didn't let me. Okay, let's do... Hey. Bye. <laughs> cool win. Yes. Uh oh. Um, was there anything else to this room? There was treasure chest to the left. Okay, so now... This is where I need to be creative. The trampoline's cool. Okay, it needs to be a little higher. I'm surprised it didn't try to do like some crazy physics where it trampolines the, the chair or the table. Looks like I'm gonna go into battle, so let's... Oh, it's... Huh? Is that the person who fought the blue monster? Oh, it's Dark Link. How about it? The music is cool. <laughs> I'm just gonna do this every time. Over here. Over here. Oh, damn it. What I got for being silly. Was easy. Oh! Nope, he, he's pissed. He is pissed. He's actually become Dark Link now. Hang on. <laughs> oh my god. No, this this thing is is legit. <laughs> I 
I'm so glad I got that. Oh, the sword? That was intense. He looked like the guy who helped you before, but this one wanted to hurt you. He was weird, like the imposters back at the castle. Looks like he left something behind. It's a weapon the great, uh, the swordsman in green tunic had. The name Link is engraved on it. I feel powerful energy coming from that sword. Even more powerful than the large rifts. Yeah, that sword has a special kind of power. What? What? <laughs> what is this? You look strong like that guy who wears green. Raise your sword to enter sword fighter form. Oh. Okay, I mean, it looks like it's temporary, so that's fine. But I mean, it's kind of undoing... Like, the whole thing of not playing as Link. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like we could have done without that. What is this abomination? I feel like there's a way to do this. Hang on. the wrong X. By that I mean that Xbox X. Uh, but you can't move it up once it's down here. Oh, wait, never mind. Hang on. Okay, this is my idea. This is, this is silly. Yep. Ugh, not quite. Hang on. Okay. But then I'm locked in here now. I don't know what I'm trying to do. <laughs> I'm trying to raise this higher, but I don't think I can. Can I still control it whilst I'm climbing? Let's see. Oh, I can. Oh, okay. Okay, here we go. 
Okay, I don't know I could do that. There we go. That's better. Still a little too high. Hmm. Let's try. This is so weird. <laughs> Just so many different points. Oh. Oh, I'm a dummy. Yes, all the complication. Heart pin. Okay. I don't want to know. <laughs> uh, a distinctive hairpin helps hearts appear more often. Sure. I don't know, how, you, how do you all feel about, like, Zelda being able to transform into Link? On the one hand, I think it's cool. On the other hand, I feel like... I don't know, man. <laughs> like... It's almost like they're like, hmm, people might miss Link. How about we make Zelda transform into Link? Like, why can't Zelda just use the sword? I mean, I guess maybe because it's like the hero's sword or whatever. But still. I mean, I guess because it's sealing away evil, I guess that's, that's the whole draw of it. Yeah, she should still be able to use the sword, because, like... She's one of the chosen ones. I don't know. It's, uh... It's a little odd. Like, it's, it's limited, sure. I guess as long as it's limited in scope, it's alright. It's fine. Oh, that's kind of neat. I can actually do this to it. so bad with these beds, dude. Good. Now, the thing that's, that's really messing me right now is just the input that it's telling me to press, and then I'm just instinctively pressing Xbox buttons right now. It's not, it's not that the controls are complicated, it's right now my brain is in Xbox mode, and that's probably not the greatest thing. Oh wow, you can drag it to fire, that's cool. Burn! Yeah. 
interesting. Um, I don't think I can get over this. I think there's like a, just a limitation. Um, that being said, I might be able to do this. Oh, I get it. Okay. Right, and now... achieve exactly. Not sure what it wants me to do here. Now there are three torches. I love how dumb you can make this. Uh, what is this, though? Oh, wait. Yeah, 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 come here. Oh, no, you can just... Whoa, you can just assassinate it that way. Okay, but I, I clearly went the, compli <laughs> the complicated route. <laughs> Of trying to get the environmental kills. That's good. I mean, there's more than one way to do things. Yep. All right. Oh, apparently not targetable. This one is. Oops. I was trying, I was trying to... Is it, it is a little awkward. It's not like Magnesis. Or the, uh, the hand. Where you can move the object, um, closer or further away. At least not that I could see. Let me see. Not that. Let me see. Uh, yeah. It doesn't seem to have an independent control to move it closer or make it further away. Part of me just wants to drop into the abyss in case there's a secret, but I'm gonna refrain. Oh yeah, Zelda. There's one more thing you can do when using bind. After binding yourself to something, by holding R. While holding R, your movements will follow what you are bound to. Oh. Maybe this is what I was looking for. Oh, no, this is... Something completely different. Whoa. That's cool. Very interesting. The 
This is a weird system, but I dig it. Oh, what is this? What is this? Okay, got it. <laughs> okay, this is pretty neat. Wait, did I do this? Huh. I think what was supposed to happen there, I was supposed to ride this along. Like this. Yeah, wow. <laughs> I just, okay. I mean, there's more than one way to solve it. I just went in a different direction, that's all. Interesting. Um, okay, I think I know what I need to do. I guess that's the other thing about this is it's not gonna give me a big item, it's just gonna be the big key, right? I guess I got the heart brooch, it's like, okay, it's a, a trinket, but you're not gonna find like a weapon or anything. First boss. Nobody's here. But I definitely sensed my friends in this spot earlier. Seismic Talus. My friends, they're in that creature. We've got to get them out of there. Come on, we can do this. What is that yellow ball? It's the assistant character. I'm like still on the fence with this character. If it's either leaning towards more like a, a Meadna, which you're happy to have around because there's a story behind it, or if it's going to become like Fee or Fi, however you want to pronounce her, um, who just establishes the already established just yeah i don't know it's starting to lean more into skyward sword assistant Okay. Now we spin to win. Oh, maybe I should do this too. Okay, this is this combination here, like going P hat and then <laughs> yep. 
Yeah, the more I the more I see this, I kinda wish they didn't let Zelda transform into Link. That's just like that might be a hot take, but <laughs> I feel like we could have we could have done without it. Like this fight could have been the same. With just letting Zelda do it with um her abilities. But I guess even when Link gets kidnapped, he ultimately has to get the win somehow, right? They're like the things from Mario Galaxy. Zelda, these are my friends. We set them free. They're filled with energy and ready to get to work. So, now we can finally fix the rift here. Using our echo ability, we can restore the entire area that was swallowed up by the rift. Watch this. Oh, you can actually leave here without collecting the hearts. My friends shared some of their power with me. Oh? I guess that means I can probably summon more now. Oh, okay. There you go. I feel like I can do even more now. Don't forget the heart. I won't. It has happened in the past, but the... To my, in my defense, it's because it's placed the character, like, right in front of the thing that leaves the dungeon, and then I just accidentally walk into it. But yeah, also they told me something while we were fixing the rift. They said that big rock monster showed up and captured them. So, then they weren't able to fix the rift because they were trapped inside the monster. And I've done, I've done it several times, like, I think multiple times in Wind Waker, um, once in Twilight. Oh, and one other thing. There are crystals that show up when we fix this. They're neat, so I'll give them to you, Zelda. And they don't let you just go back to the boss room. You have to go back through the whole... Well, maybe not the whole dungeon, but at, at the very least, like, the path. You know? I'm all finished up here, so we can head out now if you're ready. Don't forget the heart. I think we can leave from that spot. You know what's wild is like, as tutorial as this is, they still don't tell you, hey, grab the heart. Don't forget the heart. <laughs> if I put myself in the shoes of like a younger kid, it's possible they might think that that just heals and nothing else. We can travel between the still world and your world here.
the rift that was here was gone now. Which means we can reach the place you were trying to get to earlier. If we keep this up, we'll be able to fix all the rifts and we'll be able to save your father. Oh, uh, not Link. <laughs> you there, a moment for your time. Uh. I am left, Minister of Hyrule, part of the intrusion, but could you tell me where we are? Uh. Oh, Princess Zelda. I'm embarrassed to admit I didn't recognize you in that cloak. Uh, why are you wearing that? So he failed to save you from that beast, and now you're out here facing much danger. I must confess, I am surprised to hear of your abilities. And your friend Tri accompanied you this whole time? Yeah. Thank you so much, Tri. You can see me? Who could miss you? You're floating right there, and aren't you precious? I thought only Zelda could see me. Oh? So Lady Impa couldn't see you, how odd. Okay, there's something significant to this character then. Yeah. Oddities aside, I'm worried about His Majesty and the General. We'll need to make a plan. There's so much to consider, but for now let's head to the location Lady Impa told you about. I'm getting ahead of myself, would you mind showing me a map? If I recall correctly, Yes, that's the place. That's where Lady Impa's brother lives. Makes sense she'd send you there. Bye. I'll lead the way. Follow me. Oh, oh wow. Okay. I think this is adorable. The art style and everything. The blurring doesn't seem to be as bad as it was in um, Link's Awakening. It's still present, but it's... I think they've turned it down ever so slightly. But I really hope the hand holding stops soon. Right in here, princess. <laughs> we're, we're like almost two and a half hours into this. Hello, sir. Pardon us, but my name is Left. Lady Impa is my colleague and. Was it? Who's that? I'm a very busy man. No time for chatter. Now get! I apologize for the unannounced visit, but please, will only be a moment. No, no, no. I'm about to leave. Come back later. If you could just hear us out. I said no! I've got to go save Link. Huh? Hang on there. That's Link's cloak. So why do you have it? Did you see him? Well? Yeah. What? Okay, tell me everything. Tell me about the rifts and anything you know about the swordsman. Hmm, mm, I understand the situation now. Thanks for the explanation, princess. Well, oh, we finally got through to him. All right, this has been bugging me ever since you barged in here. What is that floaty thing? You can see me too? That's strange. Zelda's always been able to, but now both of you can as well. You're telling me we're the only ones who can see you? That's odd. Indeed, such a fascinating, oh, well, such a fascinating, and I might add, adorable creature. Yeah, yeah, sure. Back to the matter at hand. What is it that you and I have in common? We've both ended up in rifts and lived to tell the tale. It seems the rifts change people somehow. Ah, oh, yeah. Guess I should introduce myself. The name's Lewberry. I am Impa's older brother. And the swordsman who saved you is Link. I made his weapon, the Sword of Might. So it's not even the Master Sword. Mr. Lewberry, why did you make him a sword? Princess, remember that big, nasty blue fella who captured you? The sword was for taking him out. See, I spend my time researching Hyrule's history and its rifts. For ages now, rifts have appeared, and sometimes folks have ended up in them. Those unfortunate enough to be pulled into a rift vanish without a trace. And after which, town folk would say they've been stolen away. Anyhow, 
Link made it his mission to fight the monsters that came crawling out of the rifts. He also tried to prevent folks from going missing, and I've been helping as I'm able to. Which is why I made him a sword, the one that's effective against the rift monsters. The Sword of Might, Princess Zelda's wielding, is the very one I would hope would be of use for Link. So Link was helping out with the rifts as well. Plenty of monsters come out of rifts, but that blue one was particularly powerful. I've got a hunch that if we take him out, it'll fix the whole people disappearing business. Princess, you shared that Link managed to take out the blue guy. And yet, the rifts keep coming. Clearly, we're missing something. The rift in the forest is gone, but Link's not back. What we need is more information. I may have something useful. When I was taken by the rift in Hyrule Castle, it felt like I was flown somewhere far away. The rift I was pulled into was at Hyrule Castle, but Princess Zelda found me in a rift in the forest. How did I end up over here? Rifts don't follow the same rules as your world. Things connect differently inside them. My friends had mentioned something about oversized rifts in other areas. We might end up finding the king and other people missing in far off rifts. So maybe Link is somewhere else then. Hey Zelda, I'm going to fly up to look for some of the other big rifts. I think I found some. There's no saying where Zelda's father and the others might be. But I did spot some big rifts we can go explore. I've marked them on your map. If we fix the rifts, we may be able to save your father and the others. So let's get to work, Zelda. <laughs> Princess Zelda, I must insist that you refrain from going to any more rifts. It's far too dangerous. That's up to her to decide, Minister. I mean, she's the only one capable of mending the rifts. During this time of crisis in Hyrule, we all have to play our parts. Princess Zelda included. You make a salient point, Mr. Lewberry. Princess, I urge you to go with Tri to the other rifts. You're the only one who can fix them and save all the people who've gone missing. Minister, you stay here and help me investigate the rifts. We'll play support for the princess. Oh, of course. Investigations are my specialty. Speciality. Princess, the rifts marked by Tri are located in the Gerudo Desert and Jabul Waters. Please let me know if you require any further information. Alright, Princess, I leave it to you to find the King, General Wright, and Link. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. That sword you've got there, pretty sure I can make it even more powerful than what it is. I'll have to do some more research on it though, so talk to me later if you're interested. Man. <laughs> uh, are we good? Blueberry's Diary, Entry 1. The crystal I unearthed at a rift site, what I'm now calling a mic crystal, has strange power. The monsters that sprang from the rift seem to be repelled by it. If I can get enough of it, I feel certain it would be powerful enough, be, uh, powerful against the rift monsters. After many late nights of research, I developed a technology that can refine the crystals. From there, I'll be able to create a weapon from the crystals, as well as enhance that weapon. So now I'm pondering what type of weapon I should make. I'll test some things to begin with. I was nearly attacked by a monster in the forest when a young man named Link rescued me. Folks in Southern Village tell me that Link was among a group of kids who were stolen away. These kids made it back somehow, though. Remarkable. All of the kids who were taken by the rifts have lost something. For Link, he has lost the ability to speak. Dude, is this why canonically Link doesn't talk? Are they really giving a, can a canon reason as to why Link doesn't say anything? And it's just like, that, that, that. <laughs> Despite all he has been through, 
He fights to keep others safe. His bravery has moved me deeply. Then it hit me. This young man would be the best person to entrust the Sword of Might to. I do believe I can support him in his efforts. Tomorrow, I'll visit Southern Village again. The Sword of Might I entrust to Link packs a wallop against those Rift Monsters as I had hoped. But it doesn't seem to be enough for the Blue Monster, who we believe is creating the Rifts. It is a fearsome monster indeed. I suspect the sword is not yet powerful enough to defeat him. However, I should be able to further enhance the sword, so I must gather more Might Crystals. Link stopped by on his way home from his travels. He likes the hood I gave him the other day. While he cannot speak, his feelings come through clear as day. I've decided to make a new weapon. I must do what I can to help Link. Link stopped by. He's off to defeat that blue monster once and for all. He seemed to be in a huge rush, but I couldn't figure out why. The Sword of Might has been forged as best as I am able. I gave him some other weapons too, yet I cannot help but worry. Please stay safe and return to us, Link. Yeah, that's, that's kind of cool. He does yet to click the rest. I mean, not every game has him completely silent, but like, there's other games where it's just... He doesn't really talk to them. Maybe he doesn't actually talk, he just makes gestures and... You know, people have to figure it out. What's that, Link? Timmy fell down the well again? Lead the way, boy! <laughs> just, I don't know. Anyway. Okay, uh, we're gonna do a small intermission. I am gonna continue this, uh, but I wanna get a drink and stretch my legs. It's been a couple of hours, so I'll also split the VOD at this point. So if you're checking this out later as a replay, this is uh, where this one will end for now. Um, yeah. Hope you enjoyed if you're watching this as a replay. If you want to support the VOD's channel, just click the like button. It helps a lot. But yeah, we'll see you in the next one.